Hey everyone, this is Rachel from Photo Shelter, and today we're going to show you how to create a CNAME with GoDaddy. So the first thing you have to do is sign into your GoDaddy account. Once you've done that, there are actually two ways you can access your domain manager. The first is by clicking the Manage button right here next to Domains. The second would be by clicking the My Account link at the top right, and then from the panel that drops down, you can click Manage My Domains. This is going to take you to a page where you will see each of your domain names listed out, uh, each in its own box. So I only have one here. You'll want to click the gear icon for the domain that you'd like to set up a CNAME for. And in the drop down, you will click Domain Details. On this page, you want to access the DNS Zone File tab. So that's the second tab right here. And the first thing you're going to want to do if this is the first time you're creating a CNAME with PhotoShelter is scroll down to the CNAME section, which is right here. If your goal is to create a CNAME of www.yourdomain.com, then you're going to want to look to see if there's already a record for www created, and you'll see that I already have one here. If you want your website address to be www.yourdomain.com, what you can do is just click Edit for this record. When you click edit, a pop-up will appear that will allow you to edit this zone record. The host name you want to leave as www. The points to name, however, you want to remove the at symbol and instead place custom.photoshelter.com. The points to field is the same for every PhotoShelter member. It will always be custom.photoshelter.com. The TTL you can leave to one hour and then you will click finish. Once you do that, you also have to come back to the DNS zone file page and click the Save Changes button up here in red. Now, if you didn't want your CNAME to be www, that's fine. You can create a new record instead of editing the one that already existed. To do that, back in the DNS zone file tab, you'll click the Add Record link. In the record type, you'll want to choose CNAME. And now you have that same pop-up as we saw before. In the host field, instead of typing www, you'll type whatever it is you want your subdomain to be. So if you wanted your website address to be archive.yourdomain.com, here you would type archive. Or if you wanted it to be galleries.yourdomain.com or sales.yourdomain.com, whatever the word you wanted the subdomain to be is, you would place in this field. Then in the points to fields, again, you would use custom.photoshelter.com. It's always the same. And you can click finish. Again, save changes. And then we're good to go. The last step is to forward your domain to your CNAME. If you set it up as www, this is what you'll want to do. This way, if somebody types in your domain without using the Ws, they'll still reach your PhotoShelter website. Forwarding can be done back in the Settings tab here. You'll see there's a Forwarding section, and you'll want to click the Manage link for Domain. Here you'll click the Add Forwarding button. And now it's just basically asking us where do we want to forward our domain to. So if I want people to be able to find my photo shelter website when they click mydomain.com without the Ws, I'm going to enter my full C name here, www. LaurenShelter.com. The redirect type will always be 301 forward settings. You always want to choose forward only. Don't ever choose forward with masking. Uh, masking can sometimes cause conflicts with the technology behind photo shelter websites. Some things can appear broken or just not working correctly. So you always want to choose forward only and then click add. save, and then we're good to go with GoDaddy. Your next step is to come back to your photo shelter website and actually enter the CNAME uh, into your website settings. So here I am back in my account. I want to click the website link at the top and then general settings over on the left. Here is where you define your photo shelter website URL and if you're using one, your CNAME. So in the CNAME field, I'm just going to place www lawrenshelter.com because that's the CNAME I want to use and I'll click save settings. 
So here I'm getting an error telling me that the C name does not exist yet. This is totally normal and this is what should happen because I only just created it. Uh, it can take 24 to 48 hours or sometimes even longer for a newly created C name to take effect. So if you see this error, don't worry. You'll try this again um, in about a day or so and most likely it will work. Of course, if it doesn't and you're not sure you did something right in GoDaddy, you can always contact us at support at photoshelter.com and we'll help you through it.